October 29, 2025, a date that will be remembered in astronomical history. For the first time since its discovery, an interstellar visitor moves behind the sun, beyond every telescope's view, beyond every instrument's reach, into total silence. This is 3I Atlas, third confirmed interstellar object in human history, a messenger from another star system. And today, humanity loses contact. From the deserts of Chile to the peaks of Mauna Kea, astronomers have watched its fading light for months, tracking every movement, recording every spectral line, capturing every photon they could. And now, as it enters the solar glare, all tracking ends. No radar echo, no spectral trace, just silence. To scientists, it's a scheduled solar conjunction, a predictable event written in orbital mechanics months in advance. To those who follow this visitor since discovery, it feels like something else entirely. The moment humanity loses contact with another world. Three, I, Atlas, isn't a threat. It's not a myth. It's a real interstellar object passing through our solar system on a one-way trajectory that will never repeat. This is a story of how we lost sight of it and what that silence may still be telling us. Let's go back to the beginning. Early 2025. The Atlas survey in Hawaii spots something unusual, a faint, fast-moving object that doesn't belong. Atlas stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Four telescopes scanning the sky every night, hunting for threats, tracking near-Earth objects, cataloging the cosmic neighborhood. But this object? Different. Initial calculations show a hyperbolic orbit, that's the mathematical signature of something not bound to the sun, something passing through. Within days, NASA's Minor Planet Center confirms it. 3. I Atlas is interstellar, following in the footsteps of Oumuamua and Tuai Borisov. That I stands for interstellar, a designation reserved for objects that came from beyond our solar system, visitors from the galaxy. For the next months, Observatories around the world collaborate to refine its trajectory. Chile, Hawaii, Australia, Spain. Every major telescope network on Earth points upward. Each night brings small corrections to the orbital path and growing fascination. One astronomer at Mauna Kea put it simply, it's like watching a messenger from another star drift across our sky. Every pixel of data tells us about a world we'll never see. Comment below, what do you think this visitor carried from his home system? By August 2025, 3I Atlas is inbound toward the inner solar system. Its orbit crosses near Mars, but safely, millions of kilometers away, no threat, just passage. Brightness rises as sunlight warms its surface. Photons bombard frozen compounds that haven't felt stellar heat in millions of years. But scientists notice something strange. The light curve doesn't match any known comet or asteroid model. No strong tail like Borisov showed. No outgassing jets typical of solar system comets approaching the sun. Yet small fluctuations appear in the brightness data. Subtle, regular, suggesting rotation or sublimation of exotic ices. The James Webb Space Telescope turns its infrared eye toward this visitor and finds compounds uncommon in local comets. Methane signatures, ammonia traces, chemical fingerprints that suggest formation in a colder, more distant star system, maybe around a dim star, Maybe an M dwarf with barely a fraction of our sun's heat. Maybe in a protoplanetary disk where different ices could condense. Every new data point adds a piece to the puzzle until sunlight itself becomes the obstacle. Subscribe now. The vanishing approaches. Late October 2025, 3I Atlas nears perihelion, its closest point to the sun. 
the moment when solar gravity bends its hyperbolic path most sharply before releasing it back into interstellar space. At this stage, even powerful telescopes struggle. The Very Large Telescope in Chile, Subaru in Hawaii, Keck Observatory, all of them fighting against the glare. The sun's light drowns the faint reflection from this small visitor, like trying to spot a firefly next to a searchlight. Astronomers prepare for the inevitable, a loss of contact lasting several weeks. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory issues a simple statement. Observation gap expected October 29th through November 22nd. 16 words, neutral, professional, scientific. But behind those words lies tension. The last available spectra show something puzzling, flickering brightness variations. Too regular to be random, too subtle to explain definitively. Some interpret them as rotation, a tumbling object exposing different surface materials to sunlight. Others wonder about breakup. Could thermal stress from approaching the sun crack this ancient traveler? But no one can confirm anything. Dr. Laura Hernandez from JPL spoke for the entire astronomical community. We will only know when it comes back into view. Until then, we wait. As the signal fades, ground-based networks switch strategies. Solar observing instruments, coronagraphs designed to block the sun's disk. Hoping to catch any silhouette, any reflection, any dust trail near the sun's edge. None appear. At 11.42 UTC, October 29th, the last confirmed observation is logged a final data point captured by a telescope in Chile, then total silence. Think about what that means. Really think about it. For three weeks, an object that traveled millions of years across the galaxy to reach our solar system passes through a blind spot we cannot overcome, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how many telescopes we point upward. The sun's glare creates a zone where we simply cannot see. Days pass. Solar radiation drowns all possible detection channels. The electromagnetic noise from our star overwhelms any faint reflection from a kilometer-sized visitor. Scientists around the globe monitor the sun, hoping for any sign of scattering, any disturbance in the solar wind, any debris field. None. The European Space Agency's solar orbiter, positioned closer to the sun than Earth, captures minor fluctuations in solar wind plasma, possibly unrelated, but enough to keep curiosity alive. NASA's Deep Space Network listens for radio reflections. The massive dishes that communicate with distant spacecraft turn their attention to the predicted region. Nothing. Across astronomy forums, the event gains a quiet nickname the vanishing visitor. Behind the scenes, astrophysicists model hundreds of possible outcomes. Did it fragment under thermal stress? Did the temperature differential between sun facing and shadow sides crack the structure? Did it darken due to solar heating, outgassing that removes reflective ice, leaving only dark rock? Or did it simply continue, invisible but intact, following the laws of orbital mechanics with clockwork precision. One researcher said something that captures the moment perfectly. It's a reminder that space still holds mysteries beyond our reach. We live in an era of constant surveillance, satellites tracking Earth, telescopes scanning deep space, instruments monitoring every wavelength. And yet, for three weeks, the universe hid something from us, not through malice, not through conspiracy, simply through geometry. The sun, our life giver, became an obstruction. Comment, how does it feel knowing there are still blind spots in our cosmic vision? Mid-November 2025. After three weeks in silence, telescopes in the southern hemisphere begin scanning the predicted region, the calculated exit point where 3 i Atlas should reappear. Astrophotographers set long exposures. Spectroscopes calibrate. 
scientists check orbital models one more time. And then a faint object reappears, right on schedule, exactly where celestial mechanics predicted. 3i Atlas survived. The relief in the astronomical community is palpable. What was lost is found again. But the reunion is bittersweet. Brightness is lower than before. The object appears dimmer, possibly due to material loss during its close solar pass. Maybe ice sublimated away. Maybe dust stripped off by solar wind. Spectral readings show no major fragmentation. The core structure remained intact. This visitor passed through the fire and emerged whole. It resumes its outward path, heading beyond the orbit of Mars, toward Jupiter's distant realm, then Saturn, then the edge of the solar system. Within months, it will fade below detection thresholds forever. 3. I Atlas becomes part of interstellar night once more, silent, invisible, gone. But for the last time, so what did we learn from losing it? The disappearance of 3i Atlas wasn't a tragedy, it was a revelation. For three weeks, humanity experienced something rare in the modern age. The feeling of not knowing, of waiting, of accepting that some things remain beyond our immediate grasp. It showed that even in an era of constant surveillance, the universe can still hide from us. From its chemical fingerprints, Scientists learned that 3i Atlas likely formed in a cold, outer, protoplanetary disk. Around a dim star, perhaps an M-dwarf with barely 20% of our sun's luminosity. Its isotopic ratio suggests materials older than our solar system itself. Compounds that condensed in interstellar space before coalescing into this visitor. Astrophysicist Sarah Miller wrote in Nature, Every interstellar object is a time capsule. Each one expands our definition of what's possible. Think about that. 3i Atlas carried information from a star system that may no longer exist. The parent star could have evolved. Planets could have migrated. The entire system could have changed beyond recognition. And yet this small traveler preserved a snapshot a frozen record of conditions billions of years ago. The temporary loss of 3i Atlas also inspired something remarkable, a major step forward in observational capability. The Solar Conjunction Tracking Initiative, a new NASA ESA project designed to use coronagraphs and heliophysics satellites to continue observing even when objects pass behind the sun. Multiple spacecraft positioned at different points in the solar system, creating a network with no blind spots. In other words, losing 3i Atlas made us better observers. The experience taught us humility, showed us our limitations, and motivated us to overcome them. That's how science advances, not through success alone, but through encountering the edges of what we can do and pushing beyond as 2025 fades into history, the object is gone again, silent, invisible, forever outbound. But the data it left behind still speaks. Scientists will analyze those spectra for years. Every absorption line, every brightness fluctuation, every chemical signature, they'll compare it to Oumuamua and Borisov, looking for patterns building a picture of what interstellar objects are like. Are they common, rare? Do they share characteristics, or is each one unique? With three confirmed detections, we're beginning to understand. Interstellar visitors aren't cosmic flukes. They're regular travelers on the galactic highway. The Vera Rubin Observatory, coming online soon, will spot many more, dozens, maybe hundreds, each one a messenger, each one carrying information we cannot obtain any other way. Because we cannot yet travel to other star systems, we cannot sample their planets, we cannot directly study their formation conditions, but they come to us. 3i Atlas crossed light years to reach our sun, not intentionally, not with purpose, 
simply following the gravitational currents of the galaxy. And in doing so, it gave us a gift, knowledge, perspective, wonder. The day we lost sight of it reminded us of something fundamental, something easy to forget in our connected, surveilled, constantly monitored world. Sometimes, to understand the universe, we must first learn what it feels like to lose sight of it, to wait in darkness, to trust in mathematics and orbital mechanics, to have faith that what vanished will return. And when it does return, changed by its passage through fire, to study it with renewed appreciation. Because the next time might be the last time. 3 I Atlas now travels between the stars, unseen, untracked, but not forgotten. Long after our telescopes go dark, its journey continues. Across the Orion arm, through interstellar clouds, past stars we cannot name. Maybe billions of years from now, it will pass through another solar system, around another star, where another civilization looks up and wonders, and maybe they'll ask the same question we did. What was that traveler from the dark? Maybe they'll track it for months, watch it approach their sun, lose sight of it in the glare. And maybe in that moment of silence, they'll feel what we felt. The profound smallness of being one civilization in an infinite cosmos. Watching messages pass by that we can read but never answer. Because 3 I Atlas doesn't carry greetings. It carries geology, chemistry, physics. It carries the story of another world written in ice and rock. And for a few months in 2025, we were lucky enough to read a few pages of that story before it vanished, before it returned, briefly, before it left forever. This is the legacy of 3i Atlas. Not just the data, not just the scientific papers that will cite it for decades, but the reminder that the universe is vast, that mysteries remain, that some things can still hide from us, and that sometimes losing sight of something makes us appreciate it even more when it comes back into view even if only for a moment, even if only to say goodbye. Comment below. What do you think the next interstellar visitor will teach us? Subscribe for updates, because the galaxy is full of travelers, and we're just learning how to read their stories. 3. I Atlas is gone, but the silence it left behind still speaks.